tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Can we sue the IRS? That's my own question. Anyway. It uh, made me sad. <laughs> Come on, go. Illegal. There um, they are, officer. Rest <laughs> them. Game. Game. They, they, make, they make me do sad gamer noises. Ooh. Uh, All right. Now, now we've got uh, we got this match coming in, and it is definitely a very different pace than Sonic. Uh, Sonic Pikachu as already 89% on Zelda and against Bowser, that's death percent from like six of his moves. Although also Bowser can die. Like Zelda, she's she's such a weird archetype of a character, like glass zoner with cannon elements. And oh, oh just not squishy enough to this. She survives, but not gonna survive that fist to the face. We have a uh, and for taking the first stock in this game, which is really big for him because, like, Bow like if Zelda loses the first stock, she can recover, but I feel like Bowser losing the first stock, much, much worse. Yeah, and especially when you're facing a control type of character, while Zelda may have those, like, big haymakers, uh, every solid control game plan needs to have those moments of, like, hey, I... I've limited your options, now I can go for my big swing. And Zelda can absolutely do that so long as she doesn't lose that control. And if there's any characters that can make you feel flustered, it's Bowser when he's doing things like this. <laughs> oh. oh man, Zelda Uppy is like one of my favorite moves of all time. There's something about Zelda Uppy. Oh, absolute. I love Zelda Uppy. Um. And I mean, it's, it's, it's so hard. It's just like out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, Gesundheit. Thank you. It's I mean, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll I try to be better. <laughs> anyway, uh, this game went from being okay. Well, there goes Fair uh, Swimmer's stock. But this is not a terrible position for him to be in. It was much scarier earlier because once again, Zelda has tons. Between the Phantom, her up air, her forward air, and back air. Uh, even a big, big, thick boy like Bowser is going to drop pretty soon. Yeah, and Air Swimmer has done a phenomenal job of re regaining his composure in this game. Uh, he spent a lot of time on these left and right ledges, just kind of suffering to the, uh, to the frame six command grab that Sansko has been calling him out with a lot of the various uh, threatening ledge trap setups and the copious amount of damage but you lose control once and you fall like he put 52 percent unanswered after taking that stock and once he got opened up again everything started to fall apart and phantom really didn't help him out since it was just so slow look how many times he would summon it try to get back on stage and then get punished See that this was an option that um, Senko was going for quite a bit. Going for that falling, the fast fall neutral air because it leads into that back air just so so brutally. Um, and it's like, even if you see it coming at you over and over and over again, all, it, all that's required is for it to hit its mark once and you're just done. Late hit neutral air. It's... Bowser ha may have a tough time Going against going against characters and opponents that can break down his rather linear game plan. Like he's a heavy, he's trying to run at you, hit you hard, play out a shield, like use his defensive options aggressively and dominate your dominate in the CQC in that regard. But it's so difficult to tear that down when your character is natively slow and Zelda's tools while all of them in a vacuum can be seen as pretty good even really good to some to some moves like mentioned by Furore's win Phantom etc they all take time and Bowser's not going to give you that time nor is Sansko who's aggressive to the very end whether that helps or hurts him in this case helps wondering about is so Zelda neutral air does it break tough guy? Believe so. 
Because I know I saw him armor through it at least once in that game. Um, the final and, hit should. The final hit, but I'm talking about the, the first multi-hit. multi, multi hit. Mm, I'm not sure how long before it breaks, yeah. Because multi-hits in general kind of don't do great against tough guy. And I, I feel like when Delta just going for jump neutral air is a good way to stop those opponents going for like jump late aerial, you know, intercept them. But if you can't do that because of tough guy, that actually kind of limits Zelda's probably because I mean like what of what else can Zelda do if there's an opponent that's just like jumping like you know just like a jump without an aerial you know up air is just too slow most of the time yeah he's he, it looks like he's instead opting for like forward air and back air in <gasps> oh beautiful Dumb. Yeah, he's, he's man we've only seen FD today huh. <laughs> I wonder what was banned if you're going back to FD. I know Zelda's commonly enjoy going to uh, Smashville, but it looks like Sans goes right at home, calling out the jump with up smash and just kind of keeping the train going. As long as Air Swimmer is going to be coming at him, trying to even up this lead, he can he'll scrap all day because Bowser will win that trade ten times out of ten. Yeah, he is now lapped in percent. This is so, so scary for Air Swimmer. To the point where maybe, what about FD is working out so fantastically for Seku? Because like, it, is this, okay, great job there. Just, that that's also an effective way to punish those falling neutral airs. Just shield it and back air out of shield. You gotta start doing anything to really hard hit the, the constant uh, buttons that Sansko has been putting out and thanks to his bigger frame you shouldn't be missing often the lightning kick on either direction but the parry on the phantom absolutely called out that you weren't gonna hold the charge uh, Sansko is looking really dominant in this game too and up to power and right through that tough guy making its money's worth yeah the sour spot I believe and the fact that it was sour spot really seriously cost him and now, yeah, this is getting even worse. 29% immediately. And all of this damage from Fire Breath. He's at 74. And this is death percent, of course, against Bowser. Oh, yeah. No, you're you're feeling the ass right now. It's kind of it's kind of a struggle when if all of your options that are normally seen as so great if he up smashes to armor through the phantom before calling him out with an out of shield back air but domination domination not on a single hit level but on a, just a constant call out for call out felt like just the options that senku was choosing were just never answered you know what i mean like he was just he was just doing what he wanted to do. He got to just have fun playing the game, and I don't think Air Swimmer had fun in that last. Now, uh, when you're a control character that loses control, like suddenly so much of your game plan, which revolves around something else, kind of starts to show cracks. Like Zelda's F Smash is really good, but it's supported by the fact that phantom wow yeah he just dropped shield huh <laughs> it's supported by the fact that phantom covers so much space and it makes people want to roll uh, zelda may get a lot of grabs but that's because you're afraid of things like spot dodge into uh, neutral b or the neutral b as well as just a raw combo breaker so much is propped by each other but with sansko's almost ignorant level of aggression just saying like if you want to punish me like do it or else i'm just gonna be in your face like make me pay or else i will overwhelm you and he got overwhelmed <laughs> Is I understand the merits that FD should have for Zelda in the matchup. He was not able to get any mileage off of it. Like, I don't think he spent any time in neutral. Normally, like, FD is good because you're like, ah, yes, I've set up Phantom, and now I'm able to limit their approach. And then, you know, but there was none of that. There was just Bowser's falling from the sky. It was brutal. So I think that maybe, and the fact we're taking a little bit of time means we might see a stage switch. I did not catch whether or not it's happening. I didn't think they left the arena. I think it was, it was a moment of 
Like, I, a moment to take right. a breather, but we're going right back to FD. All right. And he throws out the GLHF before the match begins. God, that's such a... That's... Okay. What, what, doing the, like... I feel like the online, like, you know, good luck, have fun, is the equivalent of when you fist bump your opponent during, like, after game, like, when you move into, like, game two out of a best two out of three, because you think you're just going to lose. <laughs> have you ever done that? No, I've certainly yeah. done that. I've, I've done been that. like, all right, well, this is the last game, so I might as well just fist bump him before it ends. But as saying that, as we were doubting Air Swimmer before, my doubts have resurfaced a little bit, but he managed to uh, dish out about 112%, and that's really big because at the very least, it's it's not some insurmountable like deficit he has to make up. And these sweet spots are just not hit. It's so just in. I don't even know the proper word. Insane, immaculate, uh, irredeemable, but it's it's <laughs> something. It's a style that Sansko has at the very least perfected because he just doesn't seem to care about whatever his uh, air swimmer wants to do in this matchup. Any sort of counterplay that they're trying to set up, whether it be to gain space, that's certainly a way to counterplay, though. It's like if your opponent is going to be all over you, then why not give them a taste of their own medicine? I think we have gotten our answer, by the way. Tough guy right through the first part of Nusha Man. So, oh, that might have been the uh, armor from Up Smash. We'll take a look at it later. Um, but the the other thing about that is that it remind it, it reminded me of the fact that up until that moment, Air Swimmer had not been getting that much off of his, his single hits, which is weird against Bowser, one of the biggest characters in the game, one of the chonkiest boys. He's supposed to be terrified that you hit him once and he just he stays in disadvantage for forever. But up. Until that last stock we saw, that hasn't really been the case. But it seems like that's one of the adjustments that Air Swimmer has really been making. A sing each little hit just seems to go way, way further, as we're seeing right there, covering all of his options, finally doing those landing traps that we know Zelda can do so, so well. And he cleans up, putting a game on the board, and now we're moving into uh, game four. Yeah, just every time Sansko got off ledge, he would jump, he would double jump, then come down with a, an air dodge, an aerial, something that Air Swimmer could punish as long as he waited it out. In that instance, it was an air dodge, but moments before it was like a falling fair. Like these tools are really good, but you can only do them so often before Air Swimmer falls back on that prop on the uh, the Zelda game plan that works so well against big characters, like I'm gonna just step back, dash back, F smash. Step back, dash back, Phantom. Like, there's only so much you can do as a big body. So good. And just like, I'm surprised he didn't jump. He just immediately went for out B because I think there were also might've been some questionable DI on the back air, not because of survival issues. Uh, okay, well, let's take a look at this. Yeah. Oh, so, right oh yeah, there. no, right there. That's what you were talking about. Yep. And then does it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He he armored through neutral air twice. So that, like that does mean that at those lower percents, neutral air is a non viable tool in neutral, which is really bad for Zelda. Like the fact that she doesn't have an easy way to just a Bowser is falling at you in the air. You can't just throw out a quick hitbox. Except for like a neutral B, but that's Seems very committal, much more committal than uh than a neutral air would be. So, yeah, that definitely it feels like that might have been one of the reasons why uh, Air Swimmer had been struggling. He had to figure out a way to like play the neutral without having access to neutral air, which is normally a very good tool in neutral for Zelda, especially against aerial opponents. So, um, yeah, I I, I I'm actually. I'm very uh, curious what happens in this game four because it's the sort of thing where um, if Senku, you know, hits him uh, and just wins the game, that you know, that that's it. But if Air Swimmer takes this game, I think he'll take the set. You know what I mean? I feel like if he manages to stay alive right here, then he's figured out the matchup. And we are having a stage switch. The first time I've been on stream that I have uh, seen a background that isn't just a swirling empty void. Hey, uh your words are just as good. It's first time we've seen a non-FD stage in top eight, and it's pseudo-FD in a lot of ways. So, though, these, 
these platforms do make a matters. difference. Yeah. For one, so he chose this. Uh, it was a. Uh, Sansko, yeah. Sansko. I keep. I. I'm sorry. I cannot read today. Sansko. I've been calling him the wrong name for just an entire. Set. I was just mumbling it, hoping that nobody would notice because I couldn't read it. Anyway, um, yeah, we, we, uh, we were just talking about how whether those adjustments had been properly made it on uh, Airstormers Park. This is actually looking similar to that game three, where very early lead for Air Swimmer, but then Sansko actually takes the stock first. But oh, let's see if they make a repeat of that back throw. It's actually gonna do it. Wow. Yeah, 150, you're not going to be getting up throw kills, but the side blast ends are close enough that even roll distance in, yeah, 150 will do it. But you have a huge mountain to climb because if Sansuka's been reading your rolls in for this entire game. Solid damage. That damage needs to keep on coming, and he cannot be getting hit by those falling neutral layers. Look at all of... The percent that's been dished out onto him. Chat is the sensei for the uh, the two gifted subs. Uh, good job, Devin, G uh, guessing the number right. But <laughs> it looks like Sansko is or looking to wrap this game up at ASAP, using the small blast zones to punish, uh, punish and find kills even more reliably. And some of these down airs too are like just the just the change in tempo that air swimmer wasn't expecting allowing uh, sansko to get to get to ground more reset his jump more and most importantly reset neutral more which if you're playing more neutral with a heavy at 150 is definitely scary I like the idea of it using the invincibility from Nayura's love to dodge that up uh the up tilt but um, actually, so he B-reversed it, right? Yeah. If he didn't B-reverse it, would it have connected? Um, maybe, because he was heading in. So. Yeah, let's see this. I mean, this is, like, maybe a little bit too speculative. Yeah, it probably would have connected. I would have kept him alive. So it's, like, very it's like very cute and cheeky. It's, like, a landing mix-up. But if you're throwing out Nehru's love, um, you're trying to use the invincibility, which means that, what you, you know... Do. Yeah, he did, but the fact that the rest of the moves didn't actually connect left him wide open. Right. So in that situation, because he B reversed it, he actually that that's where the opening, you know, ended up revealing itself.